guys, what makes Max really cool is that right out of the box, without having to install anything, you can make a video recording the contents of your screen. Meaning that if you wanted to show someone how to open up an app uh, or how to go to a certain site, website, and click on something, uh, you can record that and your microphone all at the same time, make a quick little movie uh, without having to install any additional software. So I'm about to show you how to do that right now. So let's get right to it. So to fully understand how to record your screen, we're going to create an imaginary task. We're going to say that we're going to open up this uh, photo booth application. And we're going to say that we want to share with our friends a silly little effect from the application. We want to show how to create a movie with little birds that fly, like silly little birds that fly above your head, like this here. Okay, and we're going to show them exactly how to get here, how to turn this uh, little silly effect on. And we're going to create a movie on how to do that, and then we're going to send it to them. So here we go. Uh, we're going to be using a application uh, that's built into every single Mac called QuickTime Player. So if you go up top to the right here, type in QuickTime Player. It's the first thing that pops up. Or you can go down to the launch pad here, go to other, and it's also here as well. There's multiple ways to get to it. Once you get the app selected and opened up, as you can see, nothing happened here, right? It just popped up on the bottom here with this little black dot that indicates the application's open, but there are no windows. And as you know with Mac, if I just click anywhere in the background, it's going to select the finder and show me the menu that comes with the finder. Same way that if I click back on QuickTime Player, it's going to show me the menu selection that comes with the QuickTime Player. As you can see, as I switch back between them, the menu changes. So selecting the QuickTime player, I want to have it in my sites, and then I want to click File. Now here, there are three main options, and I want to go with New Screen Recording, because that's what we want to do to share our little funny effect with our friends. We want to record our screen and show them how to do it. So when we select this, this little window shows up, the most important thing here is to the right of the record button, you want to press that little down arrow and select the internal microphone as the input for the sound. And this is important because we don't just want to record the screen, we also want to give some vocal directions as well. Once we click the record button, we're going to have a little circle that pops up right here and that's gonna allow us to stop the recording. So we start the recording by hitting this button, we stop it by hitting the little gray circle that's gonna show up right here on the top right. So let's go ahead and start it. And as you can see, it showed up that little grayed out circle, and as soon as I press the space bar or click anywhere, it's gonna begin recording, and I'm just gonna click on the desktop. So we're now recording our screen, and now I'm going to go to the launch pad. I'm going to go to Photo Booth. And this is the program in which we want to show our friends right here. If we select Video and Effects, and we select the Dizzy effect, now we can have this silly little effect going on here. And that's pretty cool. So that's how you do that. If you hit the Record button here, you're going to be able to make a movie of yourself with little birdies flying around. All right. And now that we're done making this video, we're going to press stop up top on the right, right here. Now this is going to render out, first is going to show us the video that we made. Uh, so and we can review it. In which we want to show our friends. All right. Okay, so, all right, that's a nice little 45 second clip, basically showing you how to open up Photo Booth, select the Dizzy Birdie effect. If I'm satisfied with this file, I can go in the top left corner here and go to Save, okay? 
or I could just go to close the file and it's going to automatically ask me, hey, did you want to save this session or what do you want to do here? Do you want to delete it? I'm going to say I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it as my screen recording. And I'm going to place it on the desktop and I'm going to hit save. You can see it renders it out real quick and then it just puts it, the MOV file right onto the desktop. So if I click the MOV file, let me just make it a little smaller here. Uh, and as you can see, so here it is. This was the recording of ourselves. Oh, okay, we can play the play it through, but it you know obviously is it's pretty boring. But now we have the directions and we have this screen recorded. Last little tip, we can right click on this now, go to share, go to airdrop, and now we can send it to any Mac that has airdrop in the near area. Also, other devices that have iOS will work just as well. So this is really a nifty cool feature on all the Macs and iOS devices 2012 plus uh, that allows you to share files quickly between each other. So I hope you learned something new today. If you like what you learn, please hit subscribe. Follow us on social media and have a great day.